Hello, this is Dr. Gay from Forsyth MRI, and this is a patient who had a Chiari 1 malformation of the hindbrain. We did an MRI of the cervical spine because they had complaints of neck pain that was chronic, and also some right upper and lower extremity radiculopathy. The patient did have this reversal of normal cervical lordotic curvature, and we also, she also had um, some severe bilateral foraminal stenosis bilaterally that explained her symptoms. But uh, up in her cerebellum, we noticed that it was inferiorly migrated through the foramen magnum. And so we call this a Chiari 1 malformation. So on this view, we can see the cerebellum. The cerebellar tonsils are migrated inferiorly. Here is the uh, base of the foramen magnum. We can see the uh, back of the occipital bone here, the base of the clivus here. And we can see that this is migrated about 1.3 centimeters through the foramen magnum. And we have this, we get an associated elongation of the fourth ventricle. The pons has a flat belly sometimes. Medulla is pushed anteriorly. And uh, we'll also look here for any developmental anomalies in the cervical spine. The patient did not have any of those. And also for a syrinx. And there's no syrinx of the spinal cord. So normally the cerebellar tonsils come right down to or roughly close to the foramen magnum if it goes up to three or maybe even five millimeters, some people say, below. You can just call that benign cerebellar ectopia. And that's not uncommon to see them go right below one side or the other side, or sometimes both. But if it's over five millimeters, you know, six millimeters and up, then uh, you can confidently, can confidently call a Chiari 1 malformation of the hindbrain. And so that's it. Thank you very much.